Christian Church. I want to thank you all for your prayers for those many days and your constant encouragement. Uh, in case you haven't heard, I'm going to be uh, getting operated on Tuesday this week. We have enough. Okay, so you can work on me on Tuesday. I'll be in a few days and hopefully be out. And about six weeks later, they're going to go in and shock me again. They like to lecture for me. <laughs> Unless Keith will do that for me. <laughs> so, uh, that's, that's the plan. Uh, but during this time, and during other times like this in my life, I have been blessed by being able to see a very unique perspective of everybody in the church. It's a really cool thing. The Word of God says that uh, we are members of one another. Okay? Now, let's talk about members like parts of a body. Okay? My hand, my leg, my knee, fingers. Okay? So, you know, if you, you may not know this, but if you lose a couple of toes, then it takes extra work by your hands to get your socks on. <laughs> okay? Because it'll get caught up on stuff. That's... That can be issues for requiring tissues, so it's a problem. So, you know, as members of the body of Christ, we're all important. And Scripture also says that, that the members should care for one another, and that when one suffers, we all suffer. When one rejoices, we all rejoice. Amen. And because we're put together like this. So, I want to tell you about a small, uh, this is a small story. Uh, what I saw. So, uh, one day a few weeks ago, there was this old dude, and there was there was a mama and a daddy that came out, and the mama was not in great health, but they both came out, and they weed whacked my yard, and started cutting stuff down, and pulling up weeds, and carrying the weeds away, and they got, they got their kids involved, and that was a big blessing to the old dude. Okay, and then uh, later, one of the sons came out just on his own and mowed the old dude jarred, like, mm -hmm. like trimmed it and stuff. Spent a good couple of hours with the pushing board doing that. It was not an easy thing for that guy. That was really cool. Meanwhile, his brother, the younger dude, came out with his dad and he went to church early several times and got all the chairs all fixed up and ready to go. That was a really cool blessing for everybody, not just the old dude. Mm -hmm. And then, meantime, another family, the mama, she came out and went to, uh, went to, uh, and helped with a Bible club quite a bit, all right? And also went to another lady's house and helped her clean her house, which was really cool. And, and, and spent a lot of time doing that. And she took another lady with her who was a great help and a big blessing to her. And that same lady also happened to be in Bible Club as well. Okay, you get, you get the picture, everybody's getting all, all mixed together here. And then the mama's son, oldest son, he went and came out and spent his Saturday, he could have been off fishing or something, instead helping to move the one lady, which was really incredible. You know, he didn't have to be doing that, but he did. And in the meantime, the youngest son was all week, all night, uh, every night, with his big buddy, the, the dynamic duo, we'll call him. Yeah. They were out there at, at the Bible club and teaching and helping and, and doing whatever was needed and taking care of people. And that was really cool. That was a, just a tremendous blessing. And meanwhile, the middle son, he went and helped the old dude at the hospital all day, pushing him around. And, and in a good way. And wheel them around all up and down the hospital and anticipating needs ahead of time. It really made it so, such a blessing for the old dude. It was really cool. So that whole family was doing that. Meantime, the old dude's wife was busy laying down her life for the old dude. Okay, but also she found some time to squeeze in and go to the Bible Club and help with that. And all kinds of other things she's always laying down her life for. And in the background, unseen, but really seen by the Spirit of the Lord, is the old chick, okay? <laughs> Much older than the old dude. 
And she was out driving around every day on a certain prayer route, praying and beseeching God Amen. for those Bible clubs. But they would come to Christ and the kids there would. And also beseeching the Lord for each and every one of all the other people we were talking about and asking for help. And also bringing donuts. And in the meantime, also the pastor type dude, he was out there carrying all those people on his heart every day before the Lord. And his wife, uh, the red-headed one, who shall remain nameless, she was out and preparing for like years for this Bible club. <laughs> or seemed like years. But, and then she worked every night. And she's not a spring chick anymore, but she was still doing it. Okay? So, <laughs> so she was still out there doing it. And God honored her, and God honored all of them. And we were really blessed. And also, then another family came to help one of the ladies move yesterday and carry all kinds of stuff. And in the meantime, all these people were praying. And anytime anybody needed prayer, they were all praying. And then the one lady that was moving, her daughter was praying all the time. Her daughter was also helping move and carry stuff. All right, and, and, and well, she, she's still a spring chick, but uh, she carries a lot of weight too. And, and I don't mean physically, by the way. <laughs> that would be close. Uh, <laughs> so, and, and, and on top of all that, on top of all that, all these people, including the old dude, and by the way, the old dude had been doing a lot of paperwork and stuff too. So he had a part in all this. So everybody got together, and everybody, has been putting in money faithfully since the beginning of the church. Nine months ago. Hmm, nine months, that's interesting. Huh. So, all of a sudden, we had money to put in a down payment uh, on a new building, and which is really cool. I mean, that's just a blessing, because that money wasn't making the pastor type dude rich or anything, because he ain't taking no money. So, instead, it was it was all for God's kingdom, all for the body of Christ, all that we would have a place to gather. But even if we didn't have a place to gather, we're already that body. God is making us members of one another, parts of each other's life. And that's a great place to be. That's just incredible. When we do get up in that building, which this week we signed a sales agreement, Okay, so maybe in the next month. It should be if everything goes smoothly and those people keep praying. So when that happens, you know, it's still not about the building. We may be having a lot of visitors coming in. But we've got to take care of them. And we've got to bring them to the same God that brought us to his throne. Amen. And we've got to make them a part of that body and members of each other. And Get them to see what drives us. Because what drives us is that Jesus Christ died for us when we should be on top of the trash heap. And we should be doomed to hell. And he did that for us. And his blood was the most precious blood in the entire universe. Okay, ever. More precious than gold. More precious than silver. And that, that's what drives us. And that's what we want them to see. And so we've got to remember that when we get up there, because God's conforming us to his image. And he is making this body into his bride. A precious bride without spot or wrinkle. Hmm. What else is like spot or wrinkle? Oh, that's Jesus Christ. He's making us like himself. He's making us into a precious bride. And that precious bride is what when they lift up the name of their Savior, will draw all men unto them. And that's what happened here. So I encourage you. Amen. Think of these things this week. Think about it. Because really, it's all about love. It really is about love. Because it says in 1 John 3.16, the other John 3.16, that uh, by this we know, I still don't get this right, and I'll forget, I just went to play. Uh, love, that a man leads in his life. For the bread. Okay? So, 
And that's what we do. That's just the bottom line. So today we're going to worship. Today I believe Laura's going to tell us all about the great things that happen. And we're going to sing unto the Lord and hear the word of God. So I'm inviting you to join in. Amen. Amen. Amen.